I got a blender in the microwave. Blender in the microwave. Blender in the microwave. I said a blender in the microwave. That's how your boy stay paid. Uh, With a blender in the microwave. Blender in the microwave. What a whip that's tight away. Blender in the microwave. What a whip that's tight away. In the kitchen with a blender making it snow like December. In the middle of the winter, we get paper like timber. Tell baby girl to put herself in position to win with a winner. Cash over ass, pussy last part first members. I commend you, defending your ism like pimps do. Every day we hustling hard in rotation like rims boo. I get guap, so all the bad breathing give me tops. No bottoms, cause everybody know the pussy plots. This shot up drill play to get put up. So fucking loud Pussy weed and liquor Paper on sizzle Push whistle through the duo sizzle With a bad bristle Get nizzle, my nizzle I'm so official When I never leave home Without my sack and my pistol I'm a product of the people And these people get reckless It's not a game Come fossil and get turned to a peasant I got a blender in the microwave. Blender in the microwave. Blender in the microwave. I said a blender in the microwave. That's how your boy stay paid. Uh, With a blender in the microwave. Blender in the microwave. Wanna whip that tight away. Blender in the microwave. Wanna whip that tight away. Blender in the microwave. Wanna whip that tight away. Blender in the microwave. Wanna whip that tight away. Keep the chalk for the network. A big black double bag filled up with a. Again, tell us a little bit about yourself and what motivated you to do music. Well, a little bit about myself, man. My, my name is Money Making Prince, man. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I actually got a nice little story, you feel me? I, I got locked up when I was 13 years old, and I, that's what inspired me to write music, to get through the time. And, when, yeah, they gave me, like, they gave me 20 years for that shit. I did it. You know what I mean? I conquered it. I'm out here. I'm motivated to bring a new sound to this industry. And, man, I'm just up in this motherfucker, man, just trying to make motherfuckers feel real shit. You know what I mean? Who inspired you the most growing up? Well, Tupac. You know what I mean? Tupac was the dopest to me. You know what I mean? When he spit that shit, you feel it. So, you know, that inspired me to go... And do what I do. What is your most lyrical, heartfelt song? Man? My most lyrical, heartfelt song has to be Autobiography. Because that song's kind of like true story type shit. You know what I mean? It's a real story. And I love telling stories where you can paint the picture. Yeah, most definitely. I like, I like people to listen to my music and actually just... You know, like, they can see what's going on and they can visualize it. So what has been your biggest hurdle as a hip-hop rap artist? Well, the biggest hurdle, hurdle is, see, like, me, for me, it's kind of, I'm not too savvy with the technology and boom, I did all that time. And I come out here and I try to go with this hip-hop stuff. So meeting the right people that can put you in the right situation it's probably the biggest hurdle that I have. But, you know, you get, when shit happens like that to you, you got to put yourself in position to win. So, you got to go for it by yourself and act like nobody ain't going to be there. Because when they do come, you already got the motivation to go through it by yourself. Right. How long have you been an inspiring artist? For about... You know, better part about 15 years. And who are your current favorite artists in the industry? Well, my current favorite artist, I have to say, I like Lil Wayne, man. He's a real dope lyrical artist. Because, and he got longevity, you know? He got so much shit out and it's still dope. So that's what every artist should inspire to be having longevity. Timeless music. Yeah, you want you want as many as stuff out as possible. You know, you want every time they turn on the song, you want to be on it. And he's continued spitting that dope ass shit, man. And 
I like dope ass shit. So, in your opinion, what is the biggest problem facing our country today? The biggest problem facing our country? Yes, sir. Well, I think it's too many big, huge, little me's in America. You know what I mean? Like, everybody wants different things instead of coming together and making the economy stronger. You feel me? I do. And, you know, that's the big thing about compromising. Nobody's willing to compromise in America because they've been, like, spoon-fed. And now, since it's struggle time, they want to cry and say, hey, what's going on with me? No, you, you know, you got to come together, unite as a team. Teamwork made dream work. You feel me? Real shit. Who in the industry, modern or past tense, would you compare yourself to? Well, I'm kind of cocky and confident, you know? So I think that, you know, I think that one day I'm going to, people are going to look back and say, that guy's legendary. And so me, I aspire to be like Tupac, you know what I mean? To be having that heartfelt raw shit. So therefore, you know what I mean? Like, you know, there's dope-ass motherfuckers out here, you know what I mean? It's, they got a lot of dope artists, but he just was so heartfelt, you know what I mean? And that that really, to be on that level right there, to control that industry as one man, that's fucking dope. <laughs> yeah. What do you think is the biggest problem facing underground artists? Oh, I think that, uh, I think underground artists, like, financially, it's so hard to manage, like, trying to lead your career, get the proper promo out, do all that, get videos done so people can see the face behind the lyrics. And money gets, it's financial, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, if they was put on a bigger stage like everybody else, I believe that, you know, they don't have the same kind of recognition, but everybody can't be on that stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so what kind of suggestions do you have on how to solve that problem besides just get a job or start singing dope? Like, what real suggestions do you have for that? Well, you know, like back in the days, man, what they used to do is when the community is suffering, everybody comes together, chip in, and get to a bigger place. So... Gotta have a team behind you is what you're saying. Yeah, you gotta you gotta put a put together a potluck and try to get to where you wanna go. You know what I mean? I feel that. Yeah, you have to you know like everybody individuals out here and you know, one nigga be dope and then some niggas be hating on that nigga because he's dope. And why? Why hate on him, you know? He's he's dope. You gotta you gotta, you know, link I, up with them. Link up with them. You know, ain't no reason to be hating on nobody. That's what's up. So, who are some artists, producers, and engineers you have worked with personally? Well, I worked with my guy, Ivy the Greatest, man. He's like an underground producer, artist, you know, real dope motherfucker, man. He's on a couple of my songs. Uh, also worked with Chronic Beats, you know what I mean? They produce a lot of my shit. Uh, you know, and my guy, M.80, you know what I mean? That's my nigga, you know? I did a song with him. We're going to be doing more shit in the future. Do you have uh, any albums you release upcoming? Any shows you want to holler at? Oh, yeah, yeah, most definitely, man. I got this album, my debut album. It's going to be called My, my House of Pain. You know what I mean? And it's going to get real deep, man. I'm trying to make this one of them classical albums. You know, I'm like 100 songs deep yeah, in the you. album, and I'm going to pick like 20 out of there to, you know, make you motherfucker really feel that shit. And, yeah, I got... 
shows, I should have a show in Tacoma next, this month, on the 13th, man, you know, I have it posted on Facebook and all that, you can get at me on Facebook under LaVille Prince Cotton, you can get at me on Twitter, Twitter under Money Making Prince, you can go to my website, which is doublemp.com, and get at me, you know what I mean, I'm always welcome to new people getting at me. Why do they call you Money Making Prince? <laughs> okay, that's dope. Well, like, i always been a fly motherfucker, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I've seen your picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm never, you know, I'm really into fashion. That's my, you know, I'm really into that. I, I like to be different from the rest. So, when I, my, when I was younger, they used to call me Little P Dog, which is my brother is Big P Dog, and the P is for Prince. You know what I mean? Alright. So, I took this saying P Dog because that sounds just like so, like Snoop Dogg. It's kind of like you're copying somebody. Yeah, I had to be more original, so right. I was like a, thinking about the movie I watched, New Jack. Uh, uh, paid in full, and they had money making Mitch, and his story was kind of similar to mine. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he just got out the pen. His nigga put him on. He's all the way on. But this story ain't gonna end with me dying. It's gonna be end with me being famous, rich. You feel me? I feel you. Yeah. So that's how the name came about. So have you got yourself have you got yourself on Pandora or uh, iTunes or anything like that? Nah, see, I'm kind of like I'm really brand new to the music out here. I've been writing for so long, but being out here, I'm kind of brand new to it. So, like in the next month, I'll be all over the place. Like cool. you know, I just got a management team. So now I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to go. I just was doing this all by myself. Yeah, so I've been pushing all this shit, man. All these songs and everything, I paid for it. You feel me? So, nobody, that's, that's what inspires me because I'm like, look, man, I'm dedicated to my craft. And if I'm going to invest money in me, somebody's going to invest money into me. Yeah, man, everything... You have to, you have to be willing to invest in yourself because nobody, nobody will really believe in you. Unless you do. Yeah, they be like, man, you don't even believe in this shit. Why would I pay my money? So, okay. yeah, I can feel, you know, so I feel that. So, I believe that, uh, believe that we got, you know, Seattle, Seattle about to rise, man.
the screw. I wanna thank you for your affectionate touch. It's all gratitude. Hit the top of the square, your butt. That shows attitude. Just the right technique to get me in the mood. I strip your body nude and make the first move. Like it's your birthday. Put in the Marvin Gaye. Ignite the heart like flames. I came to rock your frame. My spectacular. I'm glad I captured her. Smooth like lavender. Biting the neck.